Good morning. Welcome to the IHSA Class 1A State Championship game. The Goreville Blackcats take on the WSS Hatchets here for a 1A title. Goreville looking to defend their state championship from a year ago. The Goreville Blackcats yesterday with a 1-0 win over the North Fulton Wildcats. Windsor, Stewarts, and Strasburg with a 5-3 victory over Argenta Oriana. WSS will be the visiting team on the scoreboard, and they will come to the plate. Let's take a look at their starting lineup today in the championship game. Leading off will be Carson Cole. She's playing center field. Batting second, the pitcher, Megan Schlechty. Hitting third and playing third, Calla Roney. Batting fourth is the catcher, Mackenzie Tabbert. Hitting fifth, the shortstop, Hannah Hayes. Madison Everett, the first baseman, batting sixth. Hitting seventh, Mackenzie Reynolds, the right fielder. Second baseman Ava Bennett bats eighth, and the nine hitter is Katrina Davis. She's playing left field. Alexi King in the circle, fires the first pitch of this championship game. It's up high for ball one. Alexi King, a junior, has committed to play softball at SIUE. Had a great game yesterday, seven innings, allowed just two hits, no runs, struck out 17, and walked only one batter. Her record stands at 9-6 on the season with a 2.29 ERA. Has thrown 73 and one-third innings for Goreville this spring. She fires the 1-0 pitch, and it's slapped foul down the third baseline. Carson Cole, a 5-4 junior, went 0-4 yesterday in the win over Argenta Oriana. Cole did have an RBI and a run scored in the game. One one count on Cole. King's pitch. And that pitch misses the plate. Two and one the count. Kings 2-1 pitch. That's slapped. It's foul down the third baseline. Counts 2-2. Two and two. Umpires talking with Lexi King about her pitch is here in the circle. It's first base umpire Dave Ridnour. He heads back over. Our home plate umpire is Rick Howarth, and at third base, Jack Buchanan. So that was... Looks like it was an illegal pitch. Home plate umpire Rick Howarth says it's a 3-1 count. Here's the 3-1 pitch by Lexi King. Bunt, it's fair down the third baseline. She'll beat it out. Carson Cole with a bunt single. That'll bring up Megan Schlechty. Schlechty, the starting pitcher today for WSS. She was at third base yesterday. Calaroni now playing third today as they switch positions. Schlechty went two for four with an RBI and a run in yesterday's win. Pitch by Lexi King. It is a strike. It's 0-1 on Schlechty. Carson Cole leading off this first inning with a bunt single. Megan Schlechty now batting, counts 0-1. And 
And she'll lay down a bunt down the first baseline. It sacrifices Cole to second. Sack bunt by Schlechty. And that'll bring up Caleroni. Roney yesterday 0 for 3, did draw one walk. Roney has three home runs, 11 doubles, and three triples on the year. Runner on second with one out here at the top of the first inning. Foul ball. 0 and 1. Counts 0-1 on Caleroni with one away in the top of the first inning. 1A championship, Goreville against Windsor, Stewarts, and Strasburg. Pitch drops in for a strike. It's 0-2. Lexi King prepares the 0-2 pitch. And this ball's hit hard to center field. That ball is over the fence. Home run. A two-run shot by Caleroni. And Windsor, Stewart's, and Strasburg on the board in the first inning. Two to zero hatchets. Roney gets every piece of that ball. Hard hit over the center field fence. To give the Hatchets a 2-0 lead here in the 1A championship game. And with one out and two runs in, catcher Mackenzie Tabbert steps to the plate. She slaps that one over to third base. That'll be an infield single for Tabbert. See that again here is hard hit ball and no throw made. First pitch here to Hayes. Is a strike 0 and 1. Three hits off Lexi King, including a two run home run here in the first inning for the Hatchets of WSS. The 0 1 showing bunt. It's a ball, 1 and 1. Pitch by King, called strike three. And with two outs, the batter, Madison Everett. One runner on, two outs here in the top of the first inning. Windsor Stu Strauss with a 2 0 advantage off the home run by Caleroni. Pitch hits the outside corner, strike one. The 0 1 pitch. 
Down low, throw down to second, overthrown and stolen base for Tabbert. Counts 1-1 one, one on Everett. Kings 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. WSS with three hits here in the first inning. Single by Cole and Tabbert. And a two-run home run by Calaroni. Here's the one-two pitch. Misses outside. Counts two and two. Kings 2-2 pitch. This is down low, runner moving, overthrown, and getting up is Tabbert. She will score. A stolen base and an error gives WSS a 3-0 lead in the first inning. There's that play again as Tabbert scores. Mackenzie Tabbert with a single, two stolen bases, and a run scored. And that ball's a chopper back to King. She'll field it. Throw in time. Nice play by Lexi King. But Windsor Stustras is on the board times three. Three nothing. Hatchets. Goreville bats next on IHSA TV. Watching these kids grow up is amazing but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. Back at east side center, the bottom of the first inning we go. Windsor Stustras has a 3-0 lead. Goreville bats here. Take a look at their lineup. Leading off will be center fielder Katie Schutz. Batting second, the pitcher Lexi King. Hitting third, first baseman Macy Goins. Batting fourth, the catcher Sam Licka. Hitting fifth, the shortstops Peyton Sopchek. Hitting sixth, third baseman Kelsey Ray. In the seventh spot, the designated player Cheyenne Walker Batting eighth, second baseman Shayna Elms, and hitting ninth for Goreville, the right fielder Adriana Licka. First pitch to shoots, a strike. Megan Schlechty pitching today. She was at third base yesterday. Her season pitching record, 12 and 2, a 1.34 ERA, 103 strikeouts. 26 walks in 73 innings. 
And she's ahead in the count, 0-2. Shoots yesterday, 0 for 3 against North Fulton in the semifinal. Slap fair down the third baseline. Out called it. Well, safe at first. And first baseman Madison Everett shaking it off. Looked like that may have got her in the face. See the replay there. And she pointed to her forehead. So shoots is on base. Looks like they're looking at her forehead area, right eye. So Katie shoots, is on base. Everett shakes it off, she'll stay in. The batter for Goreville will be Lexi King. First pitch ball to King. King 0 for 3 yesterday. Struck out twice. Swings and misses here, 1-1 one one the count. Lexi King was the winning pitcher in last year's state championship game, a nine-inning victory over Harden Calhoun. She went 2 for 4 at the plate and scored one of the two runs in that championship. King puts that ball into foul territory. Counts one and two. King, a junior, won that state championship a year ago for Goreville, and that was her first season at Goreville. She played her freshman season at Johnston City. The one-two pitch to King. Reaches out for that. Foul ball. King hitting 487 after yesterday's game. 57 hits and 117 at bats. King has 26 extra base hits on the year. Eight home runs, 16 doubles, and two triples. The count's one and two. No outs and a runner on. Bottom of the first inning. Hatchets lead the Black Cats 3-0. That ball put into play over at second base. The force at second for out number one. King on board with a fielder's choice. Nice play over at second base by Ava Bennett, making the force play at second. Macy Goins batting for the Black Cats. One on, one out here in the first. 3-0, Windsor Stustras. First pitch ball to Goins. Goins was 0 for 3 yesterday. Her batting average sits at 404. Goins has 42 hits on the season. The 1-0 pitch, swung on and missed. Goins had two hits and three RBI in last year's state tournament. And two runs batted in in the semifinals against Hayworth a year ago and an RBI in the title game. Count one and two on the 5'6 senior, first baseman Macy Goins.
The one-two pitch, swing, and a miss strike three. Two outs. Now batting, the catcher, Sam Licka. Sam Licka hitting 422. She has three home runs on the season. First pitch strike to Licka. In fact, her patience paid off in a super sectional win over New Athens. It was a 10-pitch first inning at bat in which she won that battle, a two-run homer over the left field fence. Swing and a miss here, runner advancing safely into second base is King. Counts 0-2 on Sam Licka. Two outs, bottom of the first inning. Windsor Stu Strauss holding a 3-0 lead. That was highlighted by a two-run homer by Calaroni. The 0-2 pitch. This is outside. Ball one. Schlechty's 1-2 pitch. She goes. Strikeout. Number two for Schlechty. And Windsor Stustras hangs on to a 3-0 lead. We go to the second inning on IHSA TV. Champs on three. One, two, three. Champs. You do more than kick a football. You kick it again and again and again. You go the extra mile, do the extra rep, all for the win. You step up for your team, just like we do for our clients. Take simple steps for your future. Back at Eastside Center, we go to the second inning here this morning in the, in the 1A championship game. You see the flags sitting still beyond the center field fence. Much nicer weather conditions here this morning as opposed to yesterday when we were already in the mid-80s in mid-morning. We're at 62 degrees. Cloudy skies. We are expecting some potential rain showers later today. That's why these games have been moved up an hour. 9 a.m. for the 1A championship, and the 2A championship game will follow at 11. Then the 1A third place followed by the three, uh, 2A third place game this afternoon. Windsor Stustra steps in. Let's take a look at the Goreville defense behind pitcher Lexi King and catcher Sam Licka. The infield at third is Kelsey Ray, shortstop Peyton Sobchak. Shayna Elms at second, Macy Goins at first, and from left to right field, Camille Green, Katie Schutz, and Adriana Licka. First pitch, grounded right back to King for out number one. Seven, eight, nine hitters here in the second inning for WSS. Reynolds grounds out to the pitcher. Now it's Ava Bennett stepping in. First pitch to Bennett, swings and misses. Bennett went 0 for 2 in yesterday's game. Oh, one the count. A 
And the 0-1 pitch by King. Misses up high. Ball one. Counts one and one on Ava Bennett. One one the count. One away here in the second inning. King's pitch. Ball two. Bennett hitting 301 on the season. 25 hits. 12 RBI. The 2-1 by King. And that one's lifted. Foul into the bleachers. A screamer. Two two count. King's pitch. Swing and a miss strike three. And with two outs, left fielder Katrina Davis steps to the plate. Pitch by King, bunted foul. <laughs> oh, one count on Davis. Pitch misses inside. Two outs here in the second, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Called strike, it's one and two on Katrina Davis. The 1-2 one, pitch. That misses down low, two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. That one misses up high. 3-2, it's full on left fielder Katrina Davis. King readies the 3-2 pitch to Katrina Davis. Ball four. Carson Cole batting for WSS with two outs and a runner on. 
Cole singled and scored in the first inning. count on Cole. She pops this one out of play down the left field line. One and one. Two outs here in the second. Davis at first. She walked. Cole batting. And the count's one and one. Hatchets lead 3-0. Pitch misses down low for ball two. Two and one the count. Hatchett scored three runs in the first inning. Cole scored after reaching on a bunt single. She scored on Calaroni's two-run home run. And Mackenzie Tabbert singled, stole two bases, and scored a run on an error. Here's the two-one pitch. Inside, ball three. Three one count on Cole. King's pitch, put into play. Soap check, scoops it up, throw to first, not in time. Infield single for Carson Cole. Her second hit today. Davis moves to second. Starting pitcher Megan Schlechty now batting for WSS. They lead 3-0. Have two runners on here in the second with two outs. Hatchets have four hits today. That ball hit over to second, gets right through. Getting the green is Katrina Davis. She'll score an overthrow. Nobody covering home. Two runs will score on errors by the Goreville defense. So Schlechty reaches on an E4, there's that error. And then an E7 on the overthrow allows Cole to score. So two errors on the play. An E4 and an E9. The Hatchets take a 5-0 lead here in the second inning. And now it's Calaroni. Roney with a two-run bomb in the first inning that started the scoring for the Hatchets today. And they've added two more runs here in the second. Pitch a ball up high. Roney with four home runs on the year. Also has 11 doubles and three triples. Up to 37 runs and 36 RBI. Counts 1-0. Runner at second, Schlechty. Time called. Roney steps out. The 1-0 pitch. Is a strike, 1-1. One one.
1-1 count with two outs, second inning, 5-0 lead for the Hatchets. Inside pitch to Roney, 2-1. The 2-1. That pitch down low for ball three. Three one count on Roney. Two outs, one runner on. Swing and a miss. And the count is full. Two runs scored on two errors in this second inning. To give the Hatchets a 5-0 lead, that ball hit foul. Roney stays alive on a 3-2. The full count pitch. Fouled off. Roney battling King here, still a full count. Two outs. Schlechty the runner at second. She reached on the E4. Moved up to second on the throwing air out of right field that allowed two runs to score. And give WSS the 5-0 lead. The pitch by King. This ball hit hard to left field. Caught by left fielder Camille Green. Two runs in on a pair of errors. The Hatchets lead the Black Cats. We go bottom two on IHSA TV. When I'm out there, it's it's like I'm free. When I'm out there, I'm a I'm an athlete. As I got to a point in my career where I could give back, the Donald W. Swift Scholarship was a fund that was just natural for me, being that it was in honor of my grandfather. I'm just proud to be able to say that my grandfather's legacy carries on, and I know for certain that it's making a big impact. Play smart, play hard. The player safety initiative established by the IHSA in 2015 aimed at empowering student athletes, parents, coaches, and fans to educate themselves on player safety issues. And the steps that have been taken at Illinois to protect student athletes. More information is available online at www.playsmartplayhard.org. Back at East Side Center, we go bottom of the second inning. WSS with a 5 0 lead over Goreville in the 1A state championship game. Let's take a look at the Hatchets defense today. Megan Schlechty firing her warm-up pitches. Today's starting pitcher, her battery mate Mackenzie Tabbert. In the infield, Cal Aroni over at third base, Hannah Hayes at short, Ava Bennett the second baseman, and Madison Everett is at first base. In the outfield, Katrina Davis in left, Carson Cole in center, and Mackenzie Reynolds, the WSS right fielder. Schlechty fires her final warm-up pitch and stepping up to the plate, leading off this second for the Goreville Black Cats, the shortstop Peyton Sopchek. 5-6-7 due up here in the Goreville second. Sopchek, Ray, Walker. Sopchek, two hits in her three at-bats yesterday in the semifinal win. Scored one run. Ball one to Soap Check, the 5'6 sophomore shortstop. 
Now hitting 387 on the season with 46 hits this spring. Ball two. And Soap check ahead 2-0. Goreville looking for their first hit today. Did have two runners reach in the first inning. Shoots and King. That's a called strike. Two and one the count. Shoots reached on an error. King reaching on a fielder's choice. The count's two one. Soap check. Schlechty's pitch. Outside ball three. Program note for today's schedule. Uh, this game was moved up one hour from the originally scheduled 10 a.m. start. So we began at 9 a.m. for the 1A championship. The 2A championship game between Rock Ridge and Beecher will follow this 1A title game. Ball hit into play, grounded out to first as Everett scooped that ball up. One away and Kelsey Ray bats. This afternoon we'll play two third place games simultaneously on the two diamonds here. At east side center. The 1A third place game. Between North Fulton and Argenta Oriana. And the 2A third place game between. This ball hit hard to center and it's out number two. The 1A third place game, as mentioned, was North Fulton versus Argenta Oriana. That's 130, and also at 130 on the other diamond, the 2A third place game between Williamsville and Pinckneyville. Now batting Cheyenne Walker. First pitch, a ball. So the 2A championship game will follow here at about 11 o'clock. And both third place games will be played at about 1.30 this afternoon. That's due. We do have some weather coming in. It looks like it'll be hitting early to mid-afternoon. That pitch a ball, tournament staff working dil diligently following that weather since yesterday, making scheduling changes to avoid any long weather delays that we have seen in the past. The 2-1 pitch, grounded over to second from the knees, not in time. It'll be an infield single for Cheyenne Walker, first hit for Goreville. See that play again. It took a high chop in a nice defensive play by Ava Bennett to scoop it up and throw from her knees. But Walker was able to beat it out. We'll have a runner come in for Goreville. And that will be... Goreville runner is Camille Green. Camille Green will run for Walker at first. Shayna Elms batting. She calls time. Ball up high. Count 101 Elms. Elms a 5-4 senior. Went 0 for 2 yesterday, hitting 225 on the season. She shows bunt. It's fouled back. Counts 1 and 1.
Schlechty's 1-1 pitch. Lays down a bunt. It'll be fielded by Tabert, the catcher. The throw is made for out number three. 5-0 lead for the Hatchets. We go to the third inning on IHSA TV. Back at East Side Center, a look at the Wilson official softballs for the IHSA. Today's 1A state championship game, the Windsor, Stewarts, and Strasburg Hatchets have a 5 0 lead. As we go into the third inning, Hatchets come to bat. A new pitcher in the circle for Goreville, it's Cheyenne Walker. She was the DP. She comes into pitch, and Lexi King, today's starting pitcher, moves to right field. Mackenzie Tabbert, Hannah Hayes, and Madison Everett bat this inning for WSS. That's the four, five, six hitters in the lineup. Count 0 and 1 on Tabbert. Tabbert singled, stole two bases, and scored a run in the first inning. And this ball blasted to left field. Over the fence home run. It's 6-0 Hatchets. Mackenzie Tabbert. <laughs> Windsor Stustras with a 6-0 lead here in the third inning. On a hard hit ball by Tabbert. Blasted over the left field fence. I misspoke earlier, Lexi King now playing third base for Goreville. And Cheyenne Walker, the new pitcher for the Black Cats. Showing bunt is Hannah Hayes, the shortstop, struck out in her first at bat today. The 1-1 pitch by Walker up high. Two one count on Hannah Hayes. Pitch misses outside. Now three one. A 
Foul ball, it's 3-2. Full count on Hannah Hayes. Called strike three. Now batting Madison Everett. First pitch ball to Madison Everett. So to recap, defensively for Goreville, Cheyenne Walker comes in from DP. She's now pitching. Lexi King moves over to third base. The 1-0 pitch lifted into center field. Base hit for Madison Everett. One on, one out for WSS. They've scored a run on a solo shot by Mackenzie Tabbert and the batter, Mackenzie Reynolds. Walker pitching, King at third. Kelsey Ray moves over to second base. Shayna Elms moves from second base to left field. Macy Goins still the first baseman. Peyton Sopchek remains at short. Katie Shute still in center. And Adriana Licka still in right field. Sam Licka the catcher. Count 0-1 on Reynolds. One out here in the top of the third inning. 6-0 lead for the Hatchets. That ball put into play. Scooped up by Ray. It's a 4-3 ground out. Allowing Everett to second base. And with two outs, the batter, Ava Bennett. Windsor Stustras looking for a state championship. Would be their first softball trophy. They could defend it next year, but in two years, there will not be a WSS Hatchet softball team. The Stewards and Strasburg Board of Education this week voted to end its athletic co-op agreement with Windsor. The co-op agreement began in the 2015-2016 season. The program also qualified for the state tournament in volleyball in both 2016 and in 2017. And here they lead 6-0 in the state softball championship. O2 count on Ava Bennett. Two outs, runner on second, Everett, the batter Bennett. Check swing, ball one. Appeal down, didn't go. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. The WSS Hatchets get on the board once again in the third inning. They add a tally with a solo home run by catcher Mackenzie Tabbert. 6 nothing Hatchets. We go bottom three on IHSA TV. Watching these kids grow up is amazing, but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com.
Champs on three. One, two, three. Champs. You do more than kick a football. You kick it again and again and again. You go the extra mile. Do the extra rep. All for the win. You step up for your team, just like we do for our clients. Take simple steps for your future. Leading off the third inning for Goreville, right fielder Adriana Licka. First pitch down to the dirt ball, one. Licka went one for two in yesterday's semifinal victory. An exciting one nothing win over North Fulton. Pitch misses the zone, 2-0 the count. A great semifinal game yesterday between the Black Cats and the Wild Cats. 17 strikeouts for Goreville pitcher Lexi King. Scoreless until the bottom of the seventh inning. When Goreville scored, Peyton Sopchek singled in the seventh. Moved up. Two bases on a sacrifice bunt by Kelsey Ray. And Cheyenne Walker drove in the game-winning run in the bottom of the seventh inning with an RBI single. Goreville beat North Fulton 1-0. Counts 3-1 on Adriana Licka. The 3-1 pitch by Schlechty shows bunt, strike two. Schlechty readies the full count pitch to right fielder Adriana Licka. Inside, ball four. Now batting Katie shoots. Shoots a 5-5 senior, hitting 4-13. First pitch strike. Shoots was 0 for 3 yesterday against North Fulton. Had three hits last year in the state tournament. Two runs scored. Counts 0 and 1. Schlechty with the 1-1 pitch. Slaps that one through to right field. That'll be a base hit for Katie Schutz. Two on, no outs, bottom of the third inning. Lexi King now batting. Ball foul down the first baseline. Goreville won last year's state championship, beating Harden Calhoun 2 0 in nine innings. Also won the state title in 2012. 
winning the title against Payson Seymour in the championship game, a 6-0 final. The count 0-1 against Lexi King. And that's a hard hit ball into right field. And one run is in, RBI single for Lexi King. Goreville on the board here in the third. Shoots moves up to third base. Adriana Licka scores the run. And now batting Macy Goins. Coach Craig Moffitt talking with the WSS infield. Lexi King with the RBI single. There's head coach Shanna Massey. Looking for her program's third state championship trophy. They trail by five runs here in the third inning. Massey has compiled 235 wins over 13 seasons. And this is the Black Cats' fourth trip to East Side Center. Championships in 2012 and 2017, and a third place trophy in 2013. Gowen steps in with runners at first and third. No outs, bottom of the third inning. Swing and a miss. And the 0-1. And King moves up to second. No throw is made. The 0-2 pitch by Schlechte. That ball screamed down the third baseline, and there'll be a rundown between third and home. Tag is applied. So a fielder's choice for Goins. Shoots is out, and King is at third. So Goreville still has runners at first and third, but no run scores, and one out applied. Sam Licka, the batter, she's 0 for 1 today. Licka struck out in the first. Pitch up high. The 1-0. That ball hit hard into left field. That'll bring in a run. Sam Licka. Stop sign applied at third RBI double for Sam Licka. There it is again. Licka with a hard hit ball into left field. That scores Lexi King. And it's 6-2. to two. Goins moves to third base. Licka at second with one out. Peyton Soapcheck. Destiny Bennett will be the courtesy runner for Licka at second. The left-handed soap check is 0 for 1 today. Grounded out in the second. Soap check, one of four lefties in this Goreville lineup. 
also one of four sophomores. Counts 0-1 on the shortstop, Soap check. She reaches out for that, nicely placed ball. One run is in, RBI single. Scores Macy Goins. And just like that, here in the third inning, Goreville has pulled to within three runs after trailing 6 0. Coach Moffitt comes out, and we'll have a pitching change. Calaroni will come in to pitch for WSS. So Calaroni now pitching for the Hatchets. Roney was the starting pitcher yesterday for Windsor Stu Strauss. Roney was the winning pitcher through seven innings, allowed four hits, three runs, two of the runs were earned, struck out 10, only walked one. Goreville has scored three runs after being shut out in the first two innings. Six to three the score. Windsor Stu Strauss with the lead. Goreville with runners at first and third. And one out, Kelsey Ray the batter. So Schlechte, Schlechte and Roney have switched positions. Schlechte over at third base, Roney the pitcher. Counts 0-1 on Ray. She popped out to center in the second. Swing and a miss, throw down to second, gets away. That's going to allow a run to score on the error. A throwing error allows Bennett to score, and it's 6-4. to four. Soap check gets to third base. Umpires talking with both Coach Massey and Coach Moffitt. So we'll get the official word here. Home plate umpire there, Rick Howarth, giving the call. So that last pitch was an illegal pitch. The play stands with the run scoring. Kelsey Ray strikes out. Now it's Cheyenne Walker batting. Count is 0-1. Walker singled in the second inning. Goreville has scored four runs in this third inning. Strike two on Walker.
And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Goreville strikes with four runs in the third inning, and it's a two-run game, 6-4 Hatchets, leading the Black Cats on IHSA TV. Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking. Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> so? You wouldn't do it there. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Like they're the fashion police. <laughs> Back at east side center, quite the game we have here. Windsor Stustraw 6, Goreville 4. The Hatchets held a 6-0 lead until the third inning when the Black Cats scored four runs. RBI single by Lexi King. An RBI double by Sam Licka. Also an RBI single by Peyton Sopchek. And Destiny Bennett scored on a throwing error. Katrina Davis leading off this WSS fourth inning. Counts 0-1. Counts 0-2. Walker's 0-2 pitch. Misses outside, counts one and two. Davis drew a walk in the second inning and scored a run. The one-two pitch. Put into play, soap check, throws to first in time for a 6-3 put out. One away. With one out, Carson Cole bats. Windsor Stustras beat Harden Calhoun 7 2 in the super sectional to reach East Peoria, the same team that Goreville defeated in the, in the 1A championship last season 2 0 in nine innings. Counts 0-1 on Cole. The 0-1. That ball popped up in play into left field. And that will be a double for Cole, and she's going to get to third on the throw. Double for Cole. And she'll get to third on the E7. And now batting, Megan Schlechty. One out here in the fourth inning. Runner at third. Schlechty fouls it back on the bunt. 0-1. Crooked numbers on the board. Windsor Stustras has scored six runs on seven hits and four Goreville errors. The Black Cats scored four runs on five hits and two 
WSS errors. Top of the fourth inning, a 6-4 lead for the Hatchets. They have a runner at third with one out. Schlechte the batter, and the count's one and one. One's across the board, number one Schlechte batting with one ball, one strike, and one out. Walker's 1-1 pitch. Shows bunt down the first baseline. They'll toss it down to home plate. Safe! A run scores. Schlechte gets to second on the fielder's choice. And Cole is slow to get up at the plate. Tough collision at home plate between Cole and Sam Lick of the Goreville catcher. Seven to four lead for the Hatchets. Calaroni batting, the runner on second. Roney one for two today. She hit a home run, a two-run bomb in the first. Pop fly to left field that was about five feet away from a second home run. First pitch strike. It's 0-1 on Roney. Roney started the game at third base. She's now pitching in relief of Schlechte. Cheyenne Walker's 0-1 pitch is outside. Now it's 1-1. Walker also in relief. Relieving Lexi King. One one count on Roney. Chops it back to Walker. So one to three, ground out. Schlechte moves up to third. Time called, Mackenzie Tabbert, she's two for two today. Tabbert two for two with a home run, two runs scored, and two stolen bases. First pitch, a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Tabbert singled in the first inning, stole second base, then stole third base, and scored on a throwing error. Tabbert with a solo home run in the third. Called strike on that outside corner, 0-2. Runner at third with two outs. The 0-2 pitch. Misses outside, ball one. Walker getting the sign. And fires the one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One more run for the Hatchets in the fourth. They lead 7 4. We go bottom of the fourth on IHSA TV. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? 
This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Like, I don't really you, you, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. And welcome back to Eastside Center at East Peoria, the Class 1A state championship game. Windsor Stustras with a 7-4 lead here as we go into the bottom of the fourth inning. A nice view of the uh, press box uh, behind me. We've got the uh, ladies and gentlemen in the red shirts from the Central Illinois Area Umpires Association. They're volunteering, uh, running the uh, PA, as well as keeping the scorebook, running the scoreboard, and uh, also chasing down the softballs and helping out with the teams as well. So they do a great job both weekends here at Eastside Center from the Central Illinois Area Umpires Association here in the press box behind us. We go bottom of the fourth inning. It'll be the Goreville Black Cats batting. Shayna Elms, Adriana Licka, and Katie Schutz here in the fourth inning for Goreville. And bunt attempt is foul. Elms 0 for 1 today. Grounded out in the second inning. And that ball hits Elms. She'll take a base. Elms takes the base with the hit by pitch. Now batting Adriana Licka. Licka drew a walk in her one plate appearance today, coming in the third inning. Also scored a run, part of a four run third for the Black Cats. Bunt attempt, chopped foul. 0 oh 1 on Licka. The 0-1 pitch, fouled back into the fence, 0-2. Seven four lead for Windsor Stustras. Another foul ball by Licka. Windsor Stustras has scored a run in each inning. Three runs in the first, two runs in the second, and a run each in the third and fourth innings. Goreville scored all four runs in the third. Count is 0-2. On the right fielder, Adriana Licka. She swings at that inside pitch. Throw down to first, and Elms is back in safely. One away. And we're back to the leadoff hitter, Katie Schutz, the center fielder. Bunt laid down. It'll be scooped up by Schlechty in the throw-in time. Sacrifice bunt for Katie Schutz. Elms moves to second. Two 
two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Goreville down by three runs. Lexi King today, one for two. One run, one RBI, and one stolen base today. The 1-0 pitch. That's hit into right field. King with a hit. And motoring around third. Scoring is Shayna Elms. Back to a two-run game. RBI single for King. That'll bring Macy Goins to the plate. Goins 0 for 2 with a run scored today. Reached on a fielder's choice in the third inning. King running. It's a foul ball. She'll head back. Counts 0 and 1 on Macy Goins with two outs here in the fourth inning. Seven to five hatchets. Goins reaches out for that. It's a foul ball, 0 and 2. Goins went one for three with a double in the sectional championship against El Verado. Three for four with a double and two RBI in a sectional semi win over Pope County. Counts 0 and 2. A pitch by Roney, outside, ball one. Here's the one-two pitch. That ball hard hits center field, going back to the fence, and the catch is made by Carson Cole. We go to the fifth inning. It's a two-run game. Windsor Stustra 7, Goreville 5 on IHSA TV. Champs on three. One, two, three. Champs. You do more than kick a football. You kick it again and again and again. You go the extra mile. Do the extra rep. All for the win. You step up for your team, just like we do for our clients. Take simple steps for your future. Seven to five at East Side Center, Class 1A state championship game. Windsor Stustra seven, Goreville five. And the Hatchets come to bat here in the top of the fifth inning. Five, six, seven hitters due up. That'll be Hannah Hayes, Madison Everett, and Mackenzie Reynolds. First pitch strike to Hayes. The 0-1 pitch missing outside. One and one the count. Hatchets play in the National Trail Conference. The 1-1. And that's dribbled foul down the third baseline.
Counts one and two. Another foul ball. Hayes stays alive. She's 0 for 2 today, a couple of strikeouts. Two to the count. High hit ball in the field of play. King makes the catch. Out number one. Now batting for Windsor Stu Strauss, right fielder Mackenzie Reynolds. And that ball rolls down the first baseline fair. Throw is made in time for out number two. Now batting Ava Bennett. So this is Mackenzie Reynolds batting. And she pops that one out. Two away here in the fifth inning, 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Reynolds 0 for 2 today. Grounded out back to the pitcher in the second inning. Grounded out to second in the third. Swing and a miss, strike 3. A 1 2 3 fifth. Score remains 7 5 in favor of Windsor Stu Strauss here in the 1A title game on IHSA TV. We started growing pumpkins and selling pumpkins in a roadside stand the first year uh, my 10-year-old was born. People come, pick out their pumpkins, and they put their money in the box. We have the kids help out on the farm, and they get to keep the money for their college savings. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for college isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find an authorized representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. At east side center, a 1A state trophy is on the line. Goreville comes to bat here in the fifth inning. They trail by two runs. The Goreville Black Cats are your defending Class 1A state champions. Windsor Stu Strauss looking for their first state trophy in softball. The Hatchets making their first trip to the state finals in softball. Leading off this fifth for Goreville is Sam Licka. Counts 0 and 1. Licka fouls that one off. 0 and 2.
Roney readies the 0-2 pitch to Licka. Chopped over to first. Out number one. Fielded cleanly by Madison Everett at first base. Now batting shortstop, Peyton Sobchek. Sobchek one for two with an RBI. First pitch down the middle, strike one. The 0-1 pitch, fouled out of play. Next game here at Eastside Center will be the two-way championship game between Rock Ridge and Beecher. That game follows this 1A championship. And at approximately 1.30, both of the third-place games will be played simultaneously. Pitch up high, ball one. Some storms expected to hit the region this afternoon. The one-two pitch popped up and out of the reaches of catcher Mackenzie Tabbert. The one-two pitch. Misses down low. Two and two. One out here in the fifth inning. Seven to five. Hatchets lead the Black Cats. Called strike three. Third baseman, second baseman, Kelsey Ray now batting. She reaches for that, fouls it, out of play. Came off the light pole and back onto the dugout. And 0-1 count on Kelsey Ray. She's 0 for 2. And that's a foul ball down the third baseline. 0 and 2 the count on Ray. Flied out to center in the second inning. Struck out in the third. Roney's 0-2 pitch. Up high, ball one. One, two, the count on Kelsey Ray. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Fouls that one off into the fence. The one-two pitch put into play, and that will go between the legs of Hannah Hayes at short, and E6 allows Ray to reach. There it is again. Chopped right through, and a 
Now batting, Cheyenne Walker. Walker one for two, singled in her first at bat in the second inning. Struck out in the third. Counts 0-1. That pitch lined into right field. Kelsey Ray is out on runner's interference. Walker reaches on the fielder's choice. The Goreville base runner still on first, second. The wins are Stu Strauss. Defense, they're already in the dugout and ready to take their at-bats. Orville still out as the umpires discuss this. Rick Howarth, Dave Ridnauer, and Jack Buchanan. So the ruling on the field was runner's interference by Kelsey Ray running between first and second. And they're going to call her out. See if we can get a replay. There's Shanna Massey arguing with the umpires. All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. at east side center controversial play ends the fifth inning cheyenne walker with a single they're off the bat and there you can't see it on the right side of your screen but they called runners interference on kelsey ray and that was the third out of the fifth inning so walker does get the hit and ray is out throw down to first Route number one. Ava Bennett grounds out. And that'll bring up Katrina Davis. Davis. 0 for 1 today with a run scored. 
Puts that into place. Soap check, fields it. Six to three. And with two outs, Carson Cole steps to the plate. Cole is three for three today with three runs scored. Cole singled in the first and second innings, hit a double in the fourth. The 1 0 pitch. It's a called strike. The count's 1-1 one, one on Carson Cole. And the 1-1. One, one. Fouls it, 1-2. and two. The one-two pitch. Misses outside, two and two. The two-two drops down low for a ball. Count is full on Cole. The 3 2 by Walker. Inside, strike three. A 1 2 3 sixth. We go bottom six. Windsor Stustra seven, Goreville five on IHSA TV. Watching these kids grow up is amazing, but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. Watching these kids grow up is amazing, but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. Goreville bats here in the bottom of the sixth inning, down two runs. Seven to five. Black Cats will have the 8-9-1 hitters up this inning. Shayna Elms, Adriana Licka, and Katie Schutz. First pitch strike to Elms. Elms has reached base once today in the fourth inning. She was hit by a pitch, later scored a run. Grounded out in the second inning in her first at bat. The 0 1 pitch fouled back into the fence. Counts 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. 
with one out, Adriana Licka steps to the plate. Licka, 0 for 1, walked in the third and scored a run, struck out in the fourth. Lays down a bunt, and it's caught by Schlechty for out number two. That'll bring up the leadoff hitter, center fielder Katie Schutz. Schutz is one for two. She singled in the third inning. Also reached on an error in the first. High and inside, ball one. Roney's 1-0 pitch. Grounded right back to the pitcher for out number three on the one to three ground out. A quick one, two, three inning. We go to the seventh at 7-5. Windsor Stustras leading Goreville in the 1A state championship. Champs on three, one, two, three. Champs. You do more than kick a football. You kick it again and again, and again. You go the extra mile. Do the extra rep. All for the win. You step up for your team, just like we do for our clients. Take simple steps for your future. All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect, and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. Back at East Side Center where the Windsor Stustras Hatchets lead the Goreville Black Cats 7-5. Megan Schlechty leads off the Windsor Stustras 7th. It's the 2-3-4 hitters for the Hatchets. Schlechty laid down a sacrifice bunt in the first inning, reached on an error in the second, and on a fielder's choice in the fourth inning. Counts one and one. The one one by Walker, outside two and one. Counts two and one on Megan Schlechty. And she jams that one foul. Two and two. The two two pitch. Up high, three and two. Full count on Megan Schlechty. Fouls it back. Stays alive, three and two.
the 3-2 pitch. Fouled back into the fence. Walker's 3-2 to Schlechte is ball four. That'll bring up Calaroni. Roney hit a two-run homer in the first. Popped out to left field in the second inning and grounded out back to the pitcher in the fourth. First pitch to Roney, chopped over. Soap check fields it, throw to first. And that'll bring up Mackenzie Tabbert. Tabbert is two for three today. Single and a home run. Also two stolen bases for Tabbert. And she grounds this one right up the middle. Schlechte comes around third, throw down to home plate, not in time. It's an RBI single for Mackenzie Tabbert. Schlechte scores to give the Hatchets a three-run lead. Tabbert moves up on the throw. And how about the line for Mackenzie Tabbert today? Three for four. With two RBI, two runs scored, and two stolen bases. She's now at second base, and Hannah Hayes is batting. With one out in the top of the seventh inning, Windsor Stu Strauss with an 8-5 lead. First pitch strike, and the throw down. Got her. Caught stealing is Tabbert. Nice play by the catcher, Sam Licka. Throw and tag applied by Soapcheck. And with two outs, the count is 0-1 on Hayes. That ball hit into left field, and it's off the chest of left fielder Shayna Elms. That was an E7. And Hayes gets to second base. Madison Everett batting for the Hatchets with a runner on second, two outs, a three-run lead. Swing and a miss. Everett one for three. She singled in the third inning. Counts 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. Hit over to second base, scooped up, and it's a 4-3 ground out for the third out of the seventh. It's 8-5, Windsor-Stustras leading Goreville in the Class 1A state championship.
on IHSA TV. Watching these kids grow up is amazing, but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning of the Class 1A state championship game at East Side Center, the Goreville Black Cats. Their fans will see their team bat here in the bottom of the seventh, down by three runs, looking to defend their state championship. Goreville has their two, three, four hitters up here in the seventh inning, so in the lineup, Goreville likes their spot. Goreville has scored five runs on six hits and three windsor Stustras errors. The Hatchets have eight runs on eight hits. The Hatchets have taken advantage of five Goreville errors today. First pitch popped up and fouled out of play. King today is two for three with two RBI and a run scored. Roney's 0-1 pitch. This is outside, ball one. And the 1-1 one -one pitch. Popped up, foul out of play. Roney's one two pitch to King. Popped up, high in the air, and that one will float. Out of play on top of the Windsor Stustras dugout. Count one and two on Lexi King, leading off the seventh for Goreville, trailing eight to five. Roney's pitch, another high pop fly, foul ball. And King stays alive, the count one and two. Goreville trailing by three runs here at the bottom of the seventh inning. Counts one, two. This one will stay in fair territory, high in the air, and the catch made by Megan Schlechty, one away. And now Macy Goins will bat. Goins 0 for 3 today with a run scored. She reached on a fielder's choice in the third inning. First pitch fouled back into the fence. The 0 1 pitch by Roney. That one hit into right field on a track. Catch is made on the run by Mackenzie Reynolds. Two outs, and Windsor Stustras is one out away from a state title. Four, 
Sam Licka looking to keep Goreville's hopes alive. Two outs, bottom of the seventh inning. Windsor Stustras eight, Goreville five. Roney's pitch, down low ball one. Sam Licka with an RBI double in the third inning, later scored. She's one for three today. Counts 1-0. Up high, ball two. And Rhodey's 2-0 pitch is a called strike 2-1. The 2-1. That ball hit high into right fields. Reynolds comes in, makes the catch, and Windsor Stustras wins the Class 1A state championship. An 8-5 win over the defending champion Goreville Blackcats. The Hatchets are champions. Watching these kids grow up is amazing but keeping up with a growing family can be a challenge. Three boys need a lot of school supplies and sports gear, so we started using our family pumpkin farm to help us keep up. With my kids and my customers, my goal is to improve their situation. It's my personal responsibility. With Country Financial, if you just take simple steps, preparing for your family's future isn't as overwhelming as you think. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com. All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. The Class 1A state champions are the Windsor Stewarts and Strasburg Hatchets. Roney's pitch is a high hit ball to right field, and Mackenzie Reynolds comes in to make the third out, and the Hatchets are your 1A state champions. They win it 8-5 over the Goreville Black Cats. What a game for the Hatchets. They win the title and finish the season 28-4. Cal Roney, a two-run homer in the first inning. It was a solo bomb by Mackenzie Tabbert in the third inning. Carson Cole had three hits. She was three for four with three runs scored for Windsor Stustras, an 8-5 win. As you see Coach Moffitt there hugging his catcher, Mackenzie Tabbert, and her day as she had three hits in four at-bats. She went three for four. With two runs scored, two stolen bases, and two RBI. Final score, 8-5. Class 1A state champions are the Windsor, Stewarts, and Strasburg Hatchets.